If you've ever wondered where you can get the price for all of these tokens in the Cardano ecosystem, this is the video for you. I'll be going through a really cool platform called Tap Tools, where they track all the prices of the various tokens in the Cardano ecosystem so that you know if you're a trader, when you can potentially buy and sell all of these assets. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate. Hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury. If this is your first time here and you love everything in the Cardano ecosystem, please consider giving me that thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell and you get a lot of Cardano content from me. Now, this one here is for the traders out there and people that are collecting all of these tokens through the token distribution systems, such as Smart Claims, Drip Drops, Tossy Drops, and also Tap Tools. I didn't realize they did token distributions in there either. But we'll be going through the platform itself and what you can actually do with it. So let me just pull up the website here. Now you can get to it at taptools.io. Now these guys have been building this platform for the Kadana ecosystem for quite a while now. And I believe this is version two of their platform. So it's gone through a couple of iterations, but you can see here a whole bunch of really useful things that you can get from the data that they're collecting around the ecosystem. So everything from trending assets, top gainers, recently added assets to the blockchain and to their platform itself, as well as the, the overview of the market, everything that's going up and down the top 25 tokens within the Cardano ecosystem there. So this is a fantastic place to go to if you're a trader and you wanna have all this data. So some of these these um, uh, tokens such as, you know, um, World Mobile Token, they're listed on CoinMarketCap and you can go there and have a look at it and you can see the whole platform plethora of tokens in the crypto industry. But some of these native tokens in Cardano aren't listed there. And some of these like uh, project tokens, if you go a little bit further down, uh, CNETA, CLAP tokens, IAG, I believe they're not uh, listed on uh, CoinMarketCap. So it's hard to actually find that data. And I also know from time to time, I know I see a C3, um, Damon from the project, complaining to CoinMarketCap that their data is incorrect and creating a whole bunch of fear in the ecosystem, thinking, oh, wow, the price has completely crashed. You can see on CoinMarketCap what's going on. And then it creates that uh, uh, sell effect. So it's really important that the data is correct and the tap tool guys are getting all on chain and doing some really cool things around it. Let's have a closer look at some of this data and let's pull up the Indy token. Indy is one of the tokens that has just released recently and we can see here it's a uh, it's movement over the last few days. Let me go full screen here so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So I can see the uh, uh, the data here from when it was launched. Uh, the token price is being dumped there and then slowly trading and creeping back up. Now the platform is integrated with TradingView as well. So if you're used to uh, trading and using all of these indicators here, you can quickly go through, put up your favorite indicators and you can see how the market is moving for your particular asset that you're watching. Let's go back to the charts and I'll go to another token that's been trading for quite a while, such as World Mobile Token. And here we can see uh, the four hourly movement. Let's go uh, full screen again so we can see a little bit more data here. Now I'm using the Bollinger Band um, indicators here. We can clearly see the, the movement of the token really easily on the uh, particular indicator here. Now there are some other really useful tools down here like a little bullish and bearish indicators on the side. Uh, and of course, uh, the trade history. I, I, th I thought this trade history was really cool. You can actually see uh, who and what is buying at the moment, uh, the size of the trades and everything around there. So it's really nice to have all this kind of data so you can see which way the market's moving, what exactly is going on um, with this particular token as well. Now, there's a couple of extra little things here as well. Now, you can set up your own account and log into the site and have a couple more um, uh, features here. So let me just log in. And then once you log in, you can actually have uh, your favorite tokens. You have your claim history on here and uh, various projects that you might um, add into their platform. So if you're wanting to list a token on here, you can do so as well. Now on the left hand side here, they also have a portfolio viewer. So you can see um, my assets here, um, my uh, distribution of various assets. So it's not huge, but you can see overall how your portfolio is doing based on the assets that are in your wallet. So if you're um, buying, selling and trading, you can see the total value of ADA and its current value in USD as well. 
Um, here you've got a bit more of a summary and also uh, your holding breakdown um, in terms of uh, the tokens and, and stuff uh, within your wallet. So you can see everything there really clearly. Now, of course, you've got your favorites here. So let me just add one to a favorite. So I'll just go to the disco here, Discoin. Can I click on it this way? No, okay. So go back to home. Let me just add something um, to my favorites. Oh, clays are, clays are a good one. Let me, there we go. So I can add that one to my favorites. And then I'm looking for the Discoins. They're not here in the top 25. Uh, let's see how I can search for it. There we go. And I can see where this uh, particular token is listed as well. So if I wanted to trade, I can see it's listed on MinSwap and also on SundaySwap. There we go. So I'll click a little uh, like uh, favorite there. And now I can see them all on my favorites list. Great. Now they do have some pro features that are coming out. So this is how the, the platform is going to make money and it's through their pro tools that are uh, yet to be unlocked, which they're working on at the moment. So that has an NFT tracker, token tracker, a wallet profiler, and also a smart money feature, which I don't know much about. So I'd love to dig into that and to learn a little bit more about the platform and what they're trying to do there um, and monetize the platform in general. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the claim process here. So you can click on claim and if your wallet is connected, which I'll just connect in a second here, I'll click on NAMI. NAMI is the wallet that I'm using at the moment. There we go. So now I can actually go through here, choose a bunch of tokens that I want to claim. So I've, uh, most, majority of these are meme coins or community based coins. So they're not actually uh, a part of anything uh, really big, but there are some interesting ones here that I will point out. Now this one here is the copper seed safe token. Now, if you ever wanted to uh, store your seed phrase, these guys create a, a nice little um, copper sheet that you can actually engrave your uh, seed phrase on. And this is not, not necessarily fireproof, but it has a very high melting point. So it's a nice way to store and write down your seed phrase on there. And if you have this token, uh, they're using it as a token gate. So you go to the website, if they detect the token is in your wallet, when you connect it, it gives you a discount on purchasing the uh, actual uh, seed um, safe thing. And so it's, it's a nice way of using that token token as a utility, you got to go out, you can just claim it for free and then use it on their website to get that little discount. I think it was 10 or 15% discount. So I'll add that one to my list. Again, majority of these things here are all meme coins. This one here is, uh, I love this. This was a collaboration between Nido and Cardano Thor. So I'm just going to claim that one there and I'll, I'll end this podcast episode with that music there. If I just go through the last bit, yeah, that was it. Okay, cool. So I'll just click on uh, agree submit the transaction. So it's gonna cost me five ADA here to send. I'll get the 4.76 ADA back along with the tokens. And then that will cost me 0.235614 ADA in terms of the transaction fee for this particular uh, transaction of claiming these tokens. So I'm just gonna pay that transaction, send it through and we are done there. There we go, payment submitted. So I'll get those tokens uh, sent back uh, to my wallet in a moment, but um, that is it. This is Tap Tools. If you are a trader and you like to discover and find out what all the uh, token prices are in the Cardano ecosystem, this is a fantastic site to go through. You can go through every last single token that they are, that is uh, discovered on the Cardano ecosystem and put in all of your indicators around there so that you guys can get exactly what you're after in regards to price movements, et cetera, and start doing your trades on the various uh, decentralized exchanges that list these various tokens. So I'll leave you with that. Now, if you've used Tap Tools or you think you will or find this a, as a useful tool, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Now, if you got something out of this content and you did enjoy it, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I'll promise you more and more content around the Kadana ecosystem. But with that, let me just leave you with this here. This is the uh, track from Kadana Thor and uh, Nido in, in regards to that token that I just claimed before. So let's get end off this podcast episode with this. Welcome to NFTs. Have a look around. Anything your DJ brain can think of can be found. We got mountains of JPEGs and ape a space bud. If none of it's of interest to you, please stop the bud. Welcome to NFTs. Come and take a seat. Would you like to see good artwork or engagement farming tweets? There's no need to panic. Don't they go into moon? People riding shotgun in your Lambo real soon. 
Welcome to NFT. What would you prefer? Would you like to be an artist or a mean entrepreneur? Be happy. Be horny.